Hi there guys, welcome to the course Asquis PBX Wide Gateway, a step-by-step -step installation guide. This is Faisal Khan from Octopus Technologies. This is just a demonstration on ship to ship call and make here some inbound and outbound calls waiting some extensions in the SX PBX with a dial plan and then I'll make some ship to ship calls uh, covering both the inbound and outbound scenarios so that you guys come to know that how a ship to ship call can be performed in asterisk or how ship to ship call worked in asterisk so I have my server set up here and let me show you guys okay uh, here we have our putty and this is just a terminal uh, to connect to the server and the IP address of my server is 192.168.124.128 and the SSH port is 22 uh, no we are connecting to the server and yes we are connected to the server here and connected via the root it is Taking time and the password is here. Uh, just enter your password. Okay, here we are in our server, which is the currently this is the Ubuntu server, and I installed Asus on this server. Let me show you guys. If you can see that there are different processes running, uh, like my MySQL server, which is the MySQL server running on the TCP port 3306, and we have the uh, the SS SSH server uh, with the SSHD name, and it's running on the 22 port, uh, which is the default port for the SSH server, and So you guys are asking and maybe you have a question where is the asterisk server so let's move on uh, we are going to start the asterisk server okay and here we go Here we are in the Asterisk CLI. Okay. And I have created a dial plan. And let me show you guys. Uh, sorry. Uh, what is the dial plan? And uh, how it looks like. Let me. Increase the size of this window and change the setting of the font so that you guys can easily view what is going on. And let me make it to 16. Okay. Here we go with the dial plan. Just don't mess up with this as I have uh, multiple dial plans running on my SS server. Uh, but uh, we just have to focus on the incoming dial plan. 
this is the incoming data plan 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is the extension 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and triple 5. We have a rule for these extensions. Okay. Now let me show you guys the prepared. Here are the SIP pairs. I think you guys know uh, what are SIP pairs. Okay. Uh, these are the SIP pairs 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and triple 5. Uh, ignore the SIP P. It's the low test scenario. Okay. And now. Try to configure but try to register the extension. I have configured or set up these extensions in the server or the PBS you can call it. Uh, here's our phone. As you can see that in the back end, if you see this Again, uh, let me show you again here. Actually, I have just already registered the extension one two three four five. And it's ready configuring on okay. okay. When the extension goes up, uh, you can see on the asterisk CLI. Okay, it's just showing me. Notice two eight seven zero chan underscore sip. This is the sip channel. From here you can see that uh, what type of pair is connecting or pairing with the server. Uh, we have here the chip uh, channel underscore sip dot c two seven nine eight one handle underscore request subscribe receive sip subscribe for pair without mailbox. Okay. We have not configured uh, the mailbox for this server. Uh, the mailbox is not our concern here. Our concern is the SIP registration, and then we are going to make some SIP to SIP calls. So, uh, let me configure this extension again for you guys. Uh, you must have. Uh, Salt phone, iBeam, 3CX phone, or Zoiper, these are, there are a lot of options. And light. So, I have here the 3CX phone, and also I have the Zoiper. As you can see, uh, the, at the CLI, we again have some logs of connecting or the registering of the SIP pairs triple five. Okay. I'm going to delete these extensions and configure or register again. Okay. We move accounts and yes I removed it. Create uh, we select the SIP. Okay, we have here the extension triple five, triple five at one ninety two. Uh, give your server IP address one ninety two one sixty eight one twenty four and one twenty eight here. Copy this. And give the password for the extension, and we have the password here. Uh, password. Okay. And uh, for domain robot proxy, if you have a proxy server, 
but in our case we don't have the proxy server but we have to um, just uh, in case you have you just use the same triple file at wait 192.168.124.128 and press next okay uh, uh, it is saying skip auto detection no uh, next and it is trying to configure oh yes you can see that in the back of the on the back of the asterisk cli we have some logs coming up for the registration here we go with the triple five at 13.08.58 which is the time of the uh, time on the server and uh, at 13.08 we have a register SIP pair with the extension the pair is triple five it is connected with our server okay now here we have the 3 cx system I am going to delete this extension and create a new one ok I am creating a new extension account name uh, give it the account name 1 2 3 4 5 caller id remain the f whatever you want to be the caller id ok extension actually this is just uh, a simple scenario and i am not manipulating the caller id from the server uh, so what you want whatever you want you can write here the caller id you can write your name you can write uh, in 1 2 3 4 5 as well and what extension uh, is asking for the credentials this is the main part so we have extension 1 2 3 4 5 and what is the id and uh, we have the id 1 2 3 4 5 same and the password is password okay now is now it's asking specify the IP of your PBS or IP server in our case we are connecting with the local IP that's just because I, my, my server is not on the internet it's on the uh, it's the local server in my local domain so 192.168.124.128 okay. Okay, uh, 192, 168, 124, 128 is the server IP. That's it. Okay. And now we press OK here. And what is happening? Okay. I have my extension 12345 connected with the server and it is now registered try to make call oh yes here we go with our first call first let me show you guys with the uh, I am covering here both the inbound and the outbound scenario when I dial 1 2 3 4 5 the extension here what happened? One, two, three, four, five. This must fall. Oh, here we go. The first call. Here we go with our first call. Hello. So, as you people see that we have successfully connected. And successfully set the outbound call from the extension triple five to the extension one two three four five. And we have successfully done this. And uh, let us make a call from the extension one two three four five to, to the extension triple five. 
oh yes we have an incoming call from the uh, so okay look at here incoming call from 1 to 3 4 5 at triple 5 at 192 168 124 128 here we go hello again we have a successful call okay sorry uh, there was an echo sound uh, so we have successfully tested up both the scenarios here of incoming call and the outbound of the outgoing call you can say that hope you enjoy this thanks